Hello viewers, well it's been a quiet start on the channel uh, to the start of 2020. Uh, during the first quarter it's always a little bit quiet in terms of racing games. We're in that transitional place right now between the last gen and the new gen and it's going to take some time to bring those new gen titles to market and we're going to have definitely have a quieter period where what we see is more upgrades from last gen games and various tweaks and improvements in the year ahead before we see the proper next gen stuff it. however there is a lot of next gen stuff i say a lot there are some key titles which are still planned which may arrive this year but i think it's unlikely but i thought i would uh, look at the racing games of 2020 now this is not a fully complete list of everything uh, this is a list of what i have so far in terms of confirmed information i'm talking to developers and we'll add to this list and you'll see the list as it updates on the team vvv release schedule which will be linked in the description of this video to learn about all the different racing games that are out there but i won't waffle anymore let's check out some of the racing games we can look forward to coming in 2020. So 2020 then kicking off, uh, we've already had uh, an upgraded version of Ride uh, 4, which has been released for Xbox Series X this year already. We've got MXGP 2020 as well, which will have optimized versions coming on Xbox Series X and PS5 and using the triggers. The first proper PS5 racing title will be Destruction All-Stars, which was revealed with the system last year. Uh, the gameplay is, well, action oriented uh when i look at the art style i see a cross between rocket league and and fortnite really in terms of the art style the characters don't necessarily appeal to me but i think they're aiming at a sort of younger audience and that you know crashing bashing online esport competitive action graphics do look spectacular in terms of lighting spot effects vehicle detail explosions it's going to be smashing bashing action how good is it going to be how addictive to play how, how much are we going to want to you know really get into it really depends uh, until we play the final game it's funny when i talk about characters like this i always think of twisted metal world tour a game that visually looked quite shoddy but was great fun to play and the scale was admirable even by today's standards i'd love to have seen a conversion of that that was just that game it was good fun to play so there is potential there for a game like this to work it depends on the arenas the dynamics and how everything comes together in terms of the abilities and the styles of play and how you choose to play or if you're forced to play a certain way it's going to be quite interesting to see it come together the game was delayed from the launch of the ps5 originally we all thought oh that's a shame it'd have been nice to play at launch but here i am three months later and i can't get hold of a ps5 it comes out on the 5th of february uh, I won't be playing it if I don't get hold of a PS5 between now and then, but as soon as I do, uh, I will give you guys some content and run it on a stream as well and try it out. It's going to be free, so they're going to build a, a big audience. I say build a big audience, so I don't know how many people own PS5s. Part, part of me says if it's going to be a massive multiplayer, it'd probably be better delaying it to the summer, and that way when lots of people have actually got PS5s, rather than sitting in people's garages gathering dust until they're sold on eBay, it would have been a better time to build that instant big audience but either way first ps5 racing title i'm getting cynical aren't i uh, destruction all stars comes out on the 5th of february next is monster jam steel titans 2 sequel to i think it was 2019 was the last game uh big monster trucks more worlds to discover more trucks uh coming out for obviously pc ps4 switch xbox one and google stadia and that's going to be out on the 2nd of march then we move on to monster energy supercross the official video game for always a mouthful of a title and again, that's coming for Google Stadia, PC, PS4, PS5, Xbox One, Xbox Series X. And we've got so many formats now. Uh, 14th of March on this one. Great thing about this is this game looked 1 million times better on the PC than it did on the consoles. Uh, the console versions have been rough as old boots in comparison to the PC. It's great that people are going to get to play these new versions now on 
you know the new consoles at 60 fps with high detail lighting it transforms the gaming experience it's a fun game to play on the pc you know uh, not quite the same on the other uh, format so i think that's it's just great for milestone now to get those graphics right up to where they want them as the director intended as it were monster energy supercross the official video game four we'll be covering that on a preview in the months to come so that's the next that's the next three confirmed titles that are coming out for console after this we get into the unconfirmed list now of what's coming out this year f1 2021 obviously that'll be coming from code masters it's not confirmed yet but obviously we're looking forward to that uh, moto gp 2021 again not confirmed yet that's going to be coming this year so as soon as we get some info we'll cover that that car 2021 was confirmed in late december uh, we covered the previous game i think it was 2018 uh, lots of potential there it just wasn't finished they've gone away for three years really put it together i hope they've got the physics and the feel right uh, and the way the code driver talks to you and tone and everything get all that right he, did, he used to just shout at you even if you made a deviation around a rock that would damage your car you, you have a go, have a go at you uh, a bit more tutorial in terms of the notes as well the notes were incomprehensible to the av average joe so lots of potential to do it right very passionate developers i look forward to uh, seeing more on that it's coming for pc ps4 ps5 xbox one xbox series x in summer 2021 and i i hope that you know we get that 60 fps fluidity in the physics there's a lot they can do i hope we can get there i don't think it's going to be the one i think it's going to be a big step forward i think it's going to be a solid game with need to build on certain areas that's what i'm expecting but either way it's growth for the dakar brand game let's see it all come together next the summer 2021 21 indie game classic sport driving uh, now it kind of makes you think of lotus challenge on the uh, amiga something like that years ago it's got very much that vibe to it certainly early days in this uh, development at the moment and the developers are working on it and we'll see how it comes together but again just a, a simple retro style game that harks back to titles that that era it's about what comes next what color where do i end up what what scenery am i going to encounter can be interesting to see how the developers can put that together little title always support the indies next big one is a bike title rims racing rims rims is a title announced last year we've seen nothing of the game italian developers coming from nakon releasing for peace pc ps4 ps5 xbox one xbox series x uh, that's coming summer 2021 we believe at the moment uh this is exciting potential a new newcomer to the motorbike market we need this at the moment we need more biking games that have different ideas in terms of handling approach if they can find a sweet spot they can really take the market on it's going to be very interesting all depends on their tech i think it's going to be an early game i think in, in the sense that i think it's going to have lots to it always room for improvement uh, i'm looking forward to what they can get in that first that first title and, and if they can get some intuitive handling in there we need the bikes to handle well it doesn't matter how many tracks and bikes you have it's getting that that core of the racing getting it feeling right and intuitive bike racing we say it time and time again so difficult to get right let's hope that the developers can get that right get that feeling and i look forward to trying to get you guys a, a preview early hands-on and streams later this year of course wrc 10 again not officially confirmed but like the other titles that are annual we expect that to come later this year again normally its average slot is around september so i'd expect we'd hear something about that in the summer and as ever as a big fan of rally uh, rally games and uh, with loads of coverage i look forward to covering that pc ps4 ps5 xbox one and xbox series x expected in september next we have forza motorsport 2021 it's down as 2021 but we don't think it's coming this year i don't think it's going to come until late 2022 at the earliest however there is it's still on the, the schedule and we've had no updates from microsoft on that but i i don't think it'll be ready this year however you never know there might be a preview video of the game in action towards the end of the year so we'll wait and see what's happening there no doubt staff working very hard at turn 10 studios to get that 
turned around but i still feel deep down late 2022 before we see that come to market uh, Gran Turismo 7 is the next one uh, we've heard rumors didn't we you know late 2020 early 2021 uh, I've got it down as late 2021 but I still don't think it's going to come out this year uh, if you look at the history of Gran Turismo games they've generally been delayed quite heavily uh, if you think about it in the last uh, where are we eight years they've released they've not, not really released a proper Gran Turismo game they've had Gran Turismo Sport but it's been eight years since the last proper Gran Turismo game in the series that's a long time uh, let's hope they can do it uh, the footage that was shown last year for me still look very very early uh, the characters in the cutscenes look very cardboard cut out I wasn't so keen on some of what I was seeing there I felt it needed a bit of an overhaul and uh, however the detail on the cars looks tremendous but I would like to see more track detail, you know, tarmac, life, uh, you know, something that you've got to get the right balance on. Uh, huge potential. I will play this game a lot. There's no, I will I will be on this game. This is my one of my most sought after games, not my most. Yeah, one of one of my most sought after games this generation. No doubt about it. I've got it down for late 2021. I would love it to be true. I will be surprised if it's here before late 2022, but that's that's just based on previous uh, experience. I would love to be surprised. We'll wait and see. Next one is Taxi Simulator. Haven't played anything of this. Uh, it's been uh, knocking around as an indie title for a long, long time. Uh, and if we uh, see any of it, I will uh, probably run some co coverage at some stage. But Taxi Simulator, due 2021, no further details. And then finally, just a quick look at 2022. We've already mentioned a couple of titles there that probably will slip. But also the big one next year for us, uh, I say next year, the release isn't clear. It could be 2023 on this one. It's Test Drive Unlimited Solar Crown. Could be 2023, could even be later. Uh, the development on this is a long, long, long way off at the moment. Uh, and Test Drive Unlimited Solar Crown, again, like Gran Turismo 7, these are big games. They take years to develop, years to develop the technology. Uh, massive potential. They've already got the handling system from WRC9, which handles great. It's wonderful to drive. Imagine combining that with better and better graphics, lots and lots of cool cars on huge detailed environments. It's like Forza Horizon 4, but with more to do uh, and with actual feeling of progression and driving and wow lots of wow in that so test drive and limited solar crown uh, many people who have watched this channel started watching this channel when i covered uh, test drive unlimited 2 back in 2011 i had fun on it at the time it was shoddy graphics but something and, and i i kind of laughed at it at the time in terms of the various character customization uh, but i couldn't help but say it was good fun to play and i do look forward to seeing test drive uh, uh, unlimited solar crown uh, whenever it's released but it could be could be 2022 could be 2023 or even four so long way off on that one and of course next year has been announced as well british touring car championship is coming back i'm going to show some footage probably of the cove masters british touring cars because that's all i probably have but a british touring car championship coming in 2022 uh, pc ps5 xbox series x from motorsport games uh that's going to be interesting to see uh how good they can make it really i mean it needs to be obviously all the tracks all the cars but it needs to have great physics great online components and esport components it needs to be solid and focused and let's hope they can bring that together a lot of people have rose tinted specs where british touring car championship was concerned it came out at a at a special time in gaming i was never a massive fan of it shock horror I didn't particularly like the handling I didn't like the graphics and I didn't like the AI uh, and if you've played a lot of it you'll know the AI especially on the sequel could be weird uh, but it had a cult following uh, and and you know it had, and it had amazing audio I will had and it had stones that hit the bodywork when you went off that I remember being amazingly authentic at the time so uh British Touring Car Championship coming in late 2022 uh, other than that i'm going to go through this list that's the list as we have it currently there are plenty of indie titles that i'm aware of but i'm just trying to get some kind of confirmed release dates on uh, and there are others that we're looking forward to hearing announced in the next few months and as they're announced you'll see them appear on the release schedule and you'll see coverage and i'll probably run this again in the next uh, 
a couple of months in terms of updates well i say a couple of months in the summer once we've had e3 and we'll, we'll produce another one of these videos looking at the upcoming titles plus hopefully footage of all of them as well but um that's it from me for now this outlook to 2021 it's going to be a busy year not to mention all the peripherals and new aspects that are going to be released there in terms of wheels and other elements uh, and i'll be looking to cover that not only here but on live streams as well uh if you do enjoy this video do uh, enjoy the live streams pop on i'm going to change to my other camera and we can enjoy my live stream view there it is uh do jump on uh, and enjoy my uh live streams uh you know i like to stream all of these games live retro new games new peripherals unboxings it's all happening there and there'll be giveaways as well and look forward to testing all these new titles and also you can speak to me directly with lots of questions so if you have questions on everything i've shown here today uh, then always jump on there and do say hello on twitch link is in the description do like and subscribe and that's it for this video as ever there'll be more from me very soon hello viewers well thanks for watching the video today do like and subscribe it supports what we do do become a youtube member youtube caption supports all of our content you see on the channel and of course lots of gaming from retro to modern games i love it all in terms of racing action so click on one of the two videos just there to find out more